The second piece is going to help convince you that the first piece, I mean, if I'm doing a fender of a, that 50, say the 58 Buick, you got all these repeat, repeating pieces of round chrome, the more it repeats itself, the more it reinforces the design and says, hey, yeah, that's the way it looks. Although there's no, no cameraman in there taking a picture of it. You know. All right. Well, I've laid out the basic, the basic shape of this little glove we're going to put in here. And then we'll, then we'll just start playing it. I use the fiberglass tools a lot, you'll see that in a minute. <clears throat> These here, found them in Charles' book. Um, I get them from uh, <clears throat> Micromark, and I do shape them a lot. If you look at that at the right angle, you'll see that I put a chisel point on that. I just got a little piece of a broken off, cut off wheel, and I'll just Set this thing down and roll it over 180 degrees. And now I got a nice chisel. I can almost get a straight line, but it doesn't because it's a chisel. It doesn't wear out real quick, so it lets me lets me draw a little longer. What is that, Rod? This is the uh, detailed sanding pen that I. I want to get a buddy. has got a buddy. <laughs> and uh, I went over to watch him. I was stopped in the shop to see him, and he started sanding around a door lock. And they use it. They make these for sanding around like a door lock on a car or a little windshield wiper thing. And he pulls his pen out and starts sanding around that, so the paint will bite, right? Just like, give this a tooth. And I'm like, let me see that thing. <laughs> and I'll be having that. Uh, I, I think it works better than the Anderson one. It's just, although it's the same size, it's, I like the. Is it stiffer? It's softer, I think. Oh, it's softer. It's on the outside. Is it called a standard standing thing? Yeah. Prep yeah. yeah. Prep yeah. 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 I actually yeah. found these uh, the other day at Harbor Freight for like five five fifty. I think I was the ones I. Uh, I think it were like ten dollars and five dollars for refill when I bought it from the auto supply place. That's where I pick up mine also is uh, a paint company. Oh. Of course, when I went in there, they looked at me like I was nuts when I asked for it. <laughs> Go order twenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hot tip for me for me is on those on those pins the little hairs stick in your skin. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, cool. I think somebody else said cool water, and I I started washing my hands with cold water, and it seemed like it did a lot better than hot water as far as getting the damn things out of there. It's because the hot water opens your pores. Exactly. And it lets it go in further back. Yeah, like cold water. I learned that from the people who put fiberglass in their house. Almost get airbrush quality out of that. Uh, and this one gets used a lot for softening. And it's, let's blast a little highlight in here.
Yeah, I was like, come in here and do this demo out of Charles, like, Paul, oh, they root the bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like cleanup. <laughs> you get a load of loaded up, huh? Alright. And obviously I'm doing this kind of quick for, for benefit of but you you get the idea of Alright. Now let's let's get in here and play a little bit with this. On this horizon, obviously there's gonna be things on the horizon. I just go with little random shapes. No rules except uh, sorry. Can you hold it up again? Hey Rod, and, hold it and, up this and, way. Yeah. Okay, great. Your video guy can edit that up. Yeah, he can be on that. Now, not just for the hell of it, I'm just going to come back here and just throw some little fun things. That's a tungsten tip, too, right? Uh huh. Nice sharp 